So the question is determine the following for the fixed bias configuration. We have been given the diagram for fixed bias configuration and we have to find out the value for A part, the base current IB and collector current IC at the cuisine point that is IBQ and ICQ. Uh, B part we have to find out BCE at the cuisine point, C part BB and VC and D part BBC. So first let us begin the problem by writing the parameters which are given in the problem okay so what are the values given in the problem so we have given rb is equal to so rb is equal to 240 kilo ohm then we have rc is equal to 2.2 kilo ohm right and now we have vcc is equal to 12 volt then beta is also given right beta is equal to 50 okay so first we have to find out what is your i b q and i c q okay so in order to find out what is the value for i b q at the cuisine point the base current we have to write the input loop equation so this will give you the input loop equation so what will be your input e a loop equation so starting off with potential plus VCC, VCC, then here the potential is plus to minus. So you will be getting minus IB, RB. Let us consider the current flowing is equal to IB. Then you have the junction voltage that is equal to VBE. So minus VBE is equal to zero. So from this what is the value for IB, IB will be equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RB, right? So IBQ is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RB. So what will be your VCC? VCC is equal to 12 volt, right? 12 volt minus VBE, you know that it is 0 0.7 divided by what is your RB? 240 kilo ohm. So, I am just going to solve this value. So, what is your 12 volt? 12 minus 0 0.7. 12 minus 0 0.7 is equal to 11.3. So, you will be getting IBQ is equal to 11.3 divided by 240 kilo ohm. Right. So you will be getting approximately 11.3 divided by 240 into 10 raised to minus 3, right? Sorry, plus 3. So 10 raised to 3, you will be getting 47.08. So the value will be IBQ will be equal to 47.08 microampere. So you have got the first value IBQ is equal to 47.08 microampere. Okay, IBQ. Now you know that the relation between IC and IB is equal to, IC is equal to beta IB, right? So you know that ICQ is equal to beta into IBQ. Therefore, what will be your beta? Beta is given as 50. 50 into what is your IBQ? Already you have found out 47.08 microampere. So what will be your value? 50 into 47.08 microampere. So you will be getting ICQ is equal to 2.35 milliampere. Okay. So you have got the second second value that is ICQ is equal to 2.35 milliampere. So A part is over. Now moving on to the B part. So B part what is your value? We have to find out VCEQ. So if you want to find out VCEQ you have to write the output loop equation right. So what will be your output loop equation plus VCC then minus here it is plus to minus right minus ICRC what is your voltage here plus to minus so minus VCE is equal to 0 so what will be your VCE VC is equal to VCC minus ICRC so now VCEQ is equal to VCC minus ICRC 
So here I can take the present value. So what is your VCC? VCC is given as 12 volt minus ICQ already you have found out 2.35 milliampere into what is your RC? RC is given as 2.2 kilo. Right. So now what is your value? 12 volt minus 2.35. 35 milliampere into 2.2 kilo ohm so milli and kilo will get cancelled off so you will be getting 5.17 so you will be getting which implies that vceq is equal to 12 volt minus 5.17 so you will be getting it as 6.83 volt okay so you have got the second value So moving on to the third part that is your C part you have to find out VB and VC okay so if I uh, redraw the circuit once again so emitter will be grounded then you have your resistor that is RC then you have your fixed resistor RB and you have VCC right VCC right so this is your V0 right so what what is the value you have to find out VB? VB is nothing but the voltage from the base base to the ground. So in this case it should be equal to VB because your V is equal to 0. So your VB I can write that VB is equal to VB. So what is your VB which is equal to 0.7 volt. Similarly what is your VC? The voltage from the collector to the ground, right? From the collector to the ground. So here you will be having VCE plus VE. But since V is equal to 0, I can write that VC is equal to VCE, which is equal to, which is already you have found out, 6.83 volt. Okay. And now the last, moving on to the last one, that is your D part, you have to find out the double subscript, that is VBC, we can write directly as VB minus VC. So what is your VB? 0.7 volt minus VC is equal to 6.83 volt. So what will be your value? 0.7 minus 6.83, you will be getting minus 6.13 volt. Okay, so these are the values. So finally, you have found out all the values. Let me write once again, IBQ is equal to, you will be getting it as 47.08 microampere. Then ICQ is equal to 2.35 milliampere. Then you have VCEQ. VCEQ which is equal to 6.83 volt, VB is equal to 0.7 volt, VC is equal to again same as that or VC which is equal to 6.83 volt and VBC is equal to minus 6.13 volt. So these are the different values of the problem.